2022 is the world record holder, 2008 is a modest four-year-old girl who came to the Olympic skating rink in Ryazan for the first time. The vice champion of the Olympic Games Alexandra Trusova will move to Moscow only in 2013, and the first five years of her career will be engaged in Olga Shevsova's hometown. SPORT24 correspondents Konstantin Lesik and Anastasia Skopsova came to Ryazan and talked with the first coach of the figure skating superstar. Why Sasha cried a lot in childhood, what place the figure skater took at her first tournament, what the first coach thinks about the Olympics, tears and the transition to Plashenko for a year. Olga Mikhailovna, how is everything arranged with you? As in any region, we work according to a certain program. We have many coaches of the highest and first categories. And children of different levels. From the age of 3.54, we begin to recruit, and we have them until the age of 18. When they graduate from school, we graduate. I now have a group of children born in 2014-2015, a group of primary training of the second year of study we are starting to learn double jumps, an axle of one and a half turns is the level of the third junior category. I also have a group of the fourth year of training this is the 2008-2009 year of birth, the first sports category, CMS. There are only two groups of this level. Kids, of course, 15-20 people in a group, and the training groups are already smaller 8-12 people. In total, this is 30-40 students it all depends on who leaves, who comes. It happens up to 50 last year I had three groups. And with all these groups, the coach works on the ice, is engaged in setting programs for everyone. I am the only one for such a number of children, I have to put a program for everyone in the off-season, I select music, coordinate it with parents, with children, cut it myself, put it on myself. In general, everything revolves around me. A solid amount of work. Do you sew costumes for children by any chance? No, I don't sew suits, although I can, laughs. I sewed my daughter at first, about 10 years ago. Our parents determine where and how to sew suits. Although they consult with me, what color to choose, what kind of costume, to choose specifically for this child, I also understand a little about suits. And how much ice do you have for such a large amount of work? Within the limits of the program, which is laid down, there is enough ice. And if you achieve some higher achievements, then our training groups skate for an hour and a half a day on ice, plus an hour of general physical training, an hour of choreography. Naturally, children go to school. Moreover, there are lyceums and gymnasiums, and children are engaged in gymnastics in parallel with figure skating. At the junior level, someone is looking for himself in rhythmic gymnastics, swimming, drawing, in general, not everything revolves around figure skating. And older children are already determined who they want to be, they are intensively studying biology, chemistry, mathematics, physics, it's not a fact that everyone is following in the footsteps of coaching. What can your top students do? For example, singles age 13-14. There are children who do all the triple jumps. Theoretically, this is enough to fulfill the CMS. But last year, the unified all-Russian classification was slightly adjusted, where the points that a child should score to achieve the CMC were indicated. In the short program, girls need to score a technical score of 30 points, and in the free program 49. Everything has already been calculated there. Boys have a few points more. On the one hand, the rules say that a child must have two triples in order to assign, under other fulfilled conditions, a CMS. However, with the points that are prescribed, you need to have all the triple jumps. It turns out that it is in principle unattainable to fulfill the category of CMS at the regional level. And I do not know if the Federation is doing this in order to limit the opportunity for children in the region to perform the CMS. The master of sports is not considered at all in the conditions in which we are, it is unrealistic to perform masters, this is only the road to Moscow. If the child jumps two threes, then all other elements should be on the fourth level, plus three, plus four. It's very difficult. It is necessary not to make mistakes anywhere, not to fall, in order to score these points. Well, as if all our children hung up their hands. Well, what now, 
I was at the conference of the Figure Skating Federation, where the president was re-elected, and there the representative of the Belgorod region just raised this issue, because, well, it is impossible to fulfill the CMS, having two triple ones, as prescribed, that is, the points are inflated, somehow it needs to be revised. I don't know if the regions will hear in Moscow, it's clear there are a lot of children there who gain these points under those conditions, it's not so difficult for them. But it is very difficult for the regions. Do you have more boys or girls? Of course, girls. In parallel, there is hockey in Ryazan. The boys are taken there, figure skating is not so popular with them. In addition, parents believe that this is not a men's sport. And since hockey exists, a huge number of beautiful, cute, long-legged people go there. Most often it turns out like this. We recruit children a year earlier at four years old, and they go to hockey from five. We put the child on skates, and next year he goes to hockey. There is such a trend. I have a boy, his sister trained here, and he skated in figure skating and hockey for six months. Mom said, come on, choose, and there and there we will not pull. And he chose figure skating. He's doing well, he's learned the triples, and went to major competitions. Probably everyone knows Sasha Trusova in Ryazan? Of course, Sasha is the star of Ryazan, everyone knows her, even people who have nothing to do with figure skating. Everyone everyone knows her, laughs. That's if we go to the square, and just start showing people her photo, I think they will find out. You have been training her since childhood, since my very childhood, since 2008. This is my first set in this ice palace. What does little Sasha look like in your memories now? Light dress, some kind of fluffy headband, light leggings, warm shade. She was so decently, beautifully dressed. Like a figure skater. I remember that I was very shy at first. Not to say that she is directly afraid of everything, but shy. I cried for a very long time at first. I didn't see my mom for the first year, mostly dad drove, because there was a younger child there, as I later found out. And it happened that parents were not allowed to practice, and all the children were crying. But they went to meet her, and allowed dad to sit, at first he sat at the rink, he sees her, everything is fine, he trains. We try to get him to leave, no, Sasha is afraid. So we're bringing dad back. In the second month, dad was allowed to sit down to read newspapers in the stands. He just closed this newspaper on the 2-3 row and did not look at the ice much. And Sasha just needed the presence of a native. And at a certain point she said, that's it, don't need dad, I'm used to it, everything's fine. So hardworking, all the time she performed the elements that she was supposed to, if someone was distracted there. She seems to be crying but still repeats these lanterns, snakes. I remember the first competitions, I remember Sasha's dress, our girl is still writing in it now. So curly, pink. But we won't reveal the secret of who it is, laughs. And how was it sewn? My parents went to a store in Moscow, where they bought the one they liked. The first music was Romeo and Juliet. She said it herself, I'll be under it, and I said to her, listen, well, this is adult music, to which Sasha replied, no, no, I only want to under it. And in the first competitions it was difficult to get out, my mother already wrote in the book that she persuaded her to get out. But Sasha overcame herself, went to the start and took, in my opinion, third place. Start and took, in my When did you realize that Sasha was somehow different from others? In the middle of the first training year, it was obvious. The child is hardworking, tries to move, and when six months have passed, we gave her the opportunity to write in another group in parallel so that she could move forward faster. It is clear that the girl is working hard. Even then it was clear that there is a jumping ability yet it is being worked out, it does not immediately appear. In the process of work, you see that the child is progressing and we give her the way. I read that Sasha's parents doubted whether it was worth moving to a more serious group, but she insisted. I do not know this internal struggle in the family, but Sasha has always moved forward without a doubt. She always found herself in the team, she had no problems in communication. Before transferring her to that group, we went to a camp, the school had just opened in 2011, and we went to a sports camp 
where there were older children from the training group. It turned out that Sasha had the opportunity to stay in this camp not all three weeks, but one. But she already made friends with everyone there anyway, and there was no problem of joining a new team, so I didn't hear anything that needed or didn't need to move, there was no doubt about her personally. And the parents did not make any assumptions to stay or not. We told the coaching staff that we wanted to transfer Sasha to the senior group, and they, well, okay, took it for granted. Moreover, Sasha wrote in my group she was born in 2004 and I was born in 2003, that is, all the other children were a year older initially. The other children were probably bigger, taller. Did Sasha have any problems because of this? No. She was the best there, everyone followed her even then. It's not age that decides, it all depends on the character. When a person is sociable, can find something to talk about with his elders, then everything is fine. Is Sasha a sociable person? As a child in his company, yes. Maybe she feels uncomfortable before interviews, adults, television, probably, but she had no problems in the children's team. I saw a story where you are watching Sasha's performance at the Olympic Games on the big screen in the hall of the arena. How do you remember that moment? We not only watched the Olympics in Beijing, but also all international competitions. If the training process are in the locker room matches, then we will definitely look at the tablets. Moreover, Sasha Trusova is also interested, and in general top figure skaters. In that case, with the big screen, we went out into the hall also because there was a movie shooting at that time. We were very worried about Sasha. Of course, we want her to succeed that's what she's aiming for. We get very upset when she falls, we understand that, if she does everything technically, then the components are already the second thing, she has no competitors, well, at the time when she performed. Now, of course, we have a lot of juniors with fours, and there is no longer a fact, laughs. The youth always puts pressure on the elders, it is always difficult for the elders. What emotions did you and the guys have when she did five fours on the ice? The joy that she realized her idea. It is not always possible for men to do this. In general, figure skating has advanced thanks to the school of Ateri Tutbirds and, I think, thanks to Sasha Trusova, too. She reached the international junior level and was the first to try to jump a quadruple salkow, it was something unreal. Now it has already been put on stream, quadruple salchov and sheepskin coats. I recently read that juniors are already starting to learn the quadruple flip because salkov and sheepskin coat are no longer enough. Figure skating is moving forward, other skates and technologies are appearing. What do you think about Sasha's emotions after the free program? The first reaction, I shouldn't have taken it off. I think this is a mistake of journalists. Because, firstly, she is still a child, she was physically, emotionally exhausted. Anyone expects the best from their performance, and when you have completed the task, you always expect an adequate result. I think it's a surge of her emotions. And the journalists are to blame for this, not all emotions need to be removed like this. When she was little, were there such moments? All our children experience their little failures very hard. I always tell them, you can't cry in public. Worry somewhere where no one sees you, at home, with your parents. I try to teach to keep emotions to myself. What do you think is more important for Sasha, medals or records? Today I read that she wants to move forward, wants to learn something new, she just says, it's not interesting to do what I can do. But, of course, she wants to be the first, she always wanted to be the first, even when she was little. And the family was not satisfied with either third or second place, only victory. And now she is the same. He says, I want to learn the fifth, at least try. I want to do it first. Do you believe that this is possible? Alexei Mishin just said that this would not happen in front of him, laughs. But maybe it will happen. Alexei Nikolovich said the same about the quadruple axle, and Ilya Malinin did. Well, there is most likely an under-twisted one, laughs. Clean enough, but the cue is definitely there. In general, he has Russian roots, there is a sense of purpose, this is in the nature of Russians. Do they treat children differently in Russia? In Russia, everything is put on the result.
parents take a three-year-old child to figure skating and ask what their chances are to get into the Olympic team. I now have a foreign girl, she has dual citizenship, and in Ryazan she finishes the ninth grade, passes the OJ, simultaneously studies in Qatar, before in Canada. She looks at our level and her eyes widen. We ask her. How is it there? She replies that no one forces the child there, if he wants to, he trains. Until the age of 10, no one puts the result at the forefront at all. Only after 10 years they think about doing it professionally, maybe they should take more ice, lessons from another coach. It's different here, it comes from the USSR, especially in Moscow, but it also extends to the regions, we are reaching for the capital, laughs. In our own conditions, we also prepare children faster than in other countries. We have a desire for something, to keep up with Moscow. Do many athletes have to be forced or additionally motivated to train? Psychologists say that children under the age of eight are manageable and fulfill the will of their parents. There are few who are passionate and say I want themselves. Currently, there are very few children who want something, mostly children have everything. This is called well-fed children. Now there is a generation of well-fed children, they do not want anything, even from the age of three, four. There are very few purposeful kids who want to achieve something. People like Sasha. They are controlled, they are controlled by parents, basically they control the process, they push, they drive, they train, laughs. Yes, parents participate in the training process, they are looking for subtractions, additional training. Only after 8-9 years, when children begin to get something, they have their own opinion. How often do you manage to see Sasha? She came to your school recently. It's the first time she's been here for 10 years. Sasha comes to Ryazan to visit relatives, she has a grandmother and grandfather here. She has a training process all the time, we all understand that. Only two weeks of vacation, of course, that she has absolutely no time for us. But after the Olympics, she came and held a master class here, the children were very happy, a lot of people in the stands. I understand this, she is an idol for us. Moreover, we limited the number of spectators, people from the street wanted to get in, who have nothing to do with figure skating. And in the end, those who wanted to, laughs, were given gifts to her. How? I don't know, laughs, we somehow got there in a roundabout way. Has Sasha changed in 10 years? Shy until now. Maybe more confident, but she doesn't like cameras. That's the impression. Have you ever talked to Ateri Georgievna? Never? Did the transition to Evgeny Viktorovich for a year benefit her? Probably, it did. Any change is a movement forward. I think it was good. Liberated? She's probably growing up. Any change, even in the bad side, she made conclusions about where to return to, and if she hadn't moved, she would have kept in her head all that time that she hadn't done something in her life, but she wanted to. She went over, got some experience, and drew conclusions for herself, came back, drew conclusions again. Now, I think she's thinking again about what she should do, jump in length or in height, laughs. Do you see any of your character traits in Sasha? Do you look like her in some way? I wanted everything as a child, unlike those children who don't want anything now. I studied dancing and music, and I wanted to swim, and I wanted to go to theaters. That is, I was so attentive, I always wanted to repeat something from figure skating, for me as a child it was a game. I think it was also a game for her as a child, she was interested. Would you personally like to try coaching in Moscow? Why? There are enough coaches in Moscow who work both in schools and not in schools. There are more coaches than children at some skating rinks. Only if you earn money, but everything suits me here. And how do you feel about the attention of the press in general? It's difficult, laughs. I'm not used to cameras, and, probably, everything should be in moderation. Do Ryzen journalists often address you? Ryzen journalists have a measure. Moreover, figure skating here is not a top-level sport. There are more advanced ones, rhythmic gymnastics, in which children show better results at the level of Russia and the world, we have wrestlers. More children come to them. In any case, children's sports should not merge with sports of higher achievements. Further, 
I believe that the requirements for performing the categories in figure skating are much more complicated than in the same rhythmic gymnastics. Therefore, half of Ryazan is a master of sports in rhythmic gymnastics. However, the CMC in figure skating can be counted on the fingers. This is not so much related to the conditions, but rather to the requirements for performing the discharges. Can we say then that figure skating is more difficult than rhythmic gymnastics? Much more complicated. Figure skating includes, firstly, rhythmic gymnastics, ballet, and dance, and it's all done on a thin blade, that is, coordination. This is the most difficult sport, I think. Yes, artistic and artistic gymnastics are on the same level, but my feeling is that figure skating is still more difficult. Do you think you will have more students like Sasha Trusova? Such athletes are born once every 10 years in the world. It's not a fact that next time it will happen in Ryazan, laughs. It's good that she appeared in Russia, and even more so in our city. This is a nugget that appears very rarely. But it still needs to be cut, to get to the right time and place, to show the right results to win.